Hi all, today I've got this video, so I'll be upgrading from the Google Pixel 2. It's about time I upgraded as the phone itself is 5 years old, which is pretty damn old. One of the main reasons for upgrading was due to the battery performance, not being able to take photos without using a power bank, so it would just basically blank out, which you'll see just here. It was just basically shut off, so that was basically a deal breaker. Um, I spent quite a bit of time looking at what phones to upgrade to. Main things for me were the battery life, ability to make mobile payments, because that stopped working on my Google Pixel 2. I think it was due to security updates, the price and the software itself. I considered phones from Samsung, Google and Apple. Samsung, I didn't really like due to issues with past phones. I know it was just past phones and not really the new range, but I was still concerned. And also later on uh, this year, earlier this year, I learned that there was uh, software updates that did brick phones, so that wasn't that good. And also, I wanted to have a stock Android experience, so no bloatware as well. I did consider Apple, uh, but I do prefer Android. I have used iPhones for work previously. Uh, main thing for me was the price. I just couldn't really justify that. And then also other things like Face ID, well, only being able to sign in with Face ID with the new iPhones and not having a fingerprint reader. I was just really concerned about privacy and also Siri compared to Google Assistant as well. So the reason why I switched from the Google Pixel 7, as you can see in front of you, was because, was because of the price mainly. So I got it for 744 Australian dollars. This was around the Black Friday sales, you know, about half the price of iPhone. I didn't go for the uh, extra large size because it would be just too big. So um, already the stock, uh, size was pretty pretty um, big already as you can see compared to Google Pixel 2. I also like the stock Android experience so they had new features like magic erase which you can erase things in the background of your old photos or new photos and it actually works. I don't have it in this video but I might include it in a separate video later on. Uh, there's also Google Translate, I haven't used that yet because I haven't really been able to travel and uh, Google Assistant especially when you're driving. So being able to uh, make queries hands-free is definitely really good. Really good for Spotify, mainly for me anyway. And also the camera. That's the thing that really just got me into the you know Google Pixel 2. Things I'm concerned about, as you can see, the fingerprint sensor. Now, the fingerprint sensor was moved in front, and I don't like that. I like the one that was like behind the phone. That was just more natural. It was really quick. On my Google Pixel 2, every time I use a fingerprint sensor, even if it's my fingers a bit wet it works this one is just so buggy when i first got it uh before the update came through it was just a nightmare and there's reddit threads that i was reading through that you know detailed issue which sort of deterred me from getting the google google phone and i was really considering getting the iphone but iphone you got face id so yeah uh google also has the face id but i haven't really used it um i can't comment on that other thing i'm concerned about was bugs so from previous uh iterations of the google pixel so the six um, but otherwise, uh, it's been an alright experience. Um, I mainly enjoy the smoothness of the screen as well. Battery life is something I really, really appreciate too. Uh, I think that's, you know, one of the things I really enjoy. And then making mobile payments so I don't need to get my wallet out. You know, I can just carry my phone, tap on, and then, you know, you put your phone into your car. You're ready to go with Google Maps. Very intelligent. So, so far so good if you have any comments if you have any questions or you want me to make certain videos about certain things about this phone please let me know otherwise i'll see you in the next video bye for now